If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Guys, skip the packs, save some money, head over to MuttReserve.com, and use code POOL for 50% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys, and today, I'm going to be going over a really cool thing you can be doing starting now. You want to be starting this as early as possible to make sure you do get the, you can maximize it and make sure you don't miss any, like, time-sensitive objectives based here, but, guys... This method works super great. I made a video on it last year when they did something very similar to this in Madden 20. Now, the way this pretty much works, guys, is super simple. It takes some time, of course, but that is just how things go. People come on these videos and they like, they expect like, I'm just gonna sit here and be like, here, there's a code in my hand, write this down and put it in a secret spot. It, it, you got free coins. Better, you know, you know what's better to use than hundreds of dollars on buying packs? It's using your time. And that's just my personal opinion. Now, guys, before we get into today's video and we go over this banger, we show you guys everything in this and how this pretty much functions and works, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on to boys, come join the family, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. Guys, can we get 500 likes in this video? If we get 500 likes in this video, I'll go deep searching for the next big video for you guys just like this. So, let's get 500 likes, guys. I greatly appreciate that. If you're loyal and you're always here, likes up out a ton for the channel, guys. We're grinding out to 20, well, to 30K technically is where my, that's my goal by the end of October. So, guys, smash the like button, smash the sub button, turn the notification bell, boys, come join the family. And if you guys do need coins, on a side note from this, and you need to pick up some coins, go down below to muttreserve.com. Make sure you use code POOL at checkout for 15% off, guys. It helps out. It helps me out a ton, as well as prices have been reduced. Don't, don't waste your money on packs. Pick up some coins, build your god squad. And set it over to sets, and there's one specific thing we want to focus on and how we're going to manipulate this set here. You could easily, in my opinion, depending on the exact week of release, you could easily make anywhere. You could you could easily make over 500 to a million coins. Much more depending on the price range of things. As well as you can go ahead and just stack out your team. It's either, either one you want to do. I'm going to go over two guys. So guys, stay tuned to the end of this video because you're not going to want to miss this. There's two methods of doing this. One method is going to be to calculate the most coins. One method is going to be to secure the greatest team. There's going to be two ways you could do this. And in my opinion, the safest way is probably to calculate the greatest team. You know, put together your greatest team versus calculating the greatest coins. Now, there are ways to do the coins safely, which I'll go over too. So just stay tuned to the end. A lot of things you're not going to want to miss here. But let's get into it. So we're going to go to the exchange sets. And the one we're going to focus on is the Legends Token Exchange. Turn in 18 Legend Tokens to earn a random Legend Boss. This will be updated each week when new Legends arrive. So if you guys don't know how this works, pretty much, we're going to be getting tokens weekly. And each time you get a token, you're going to want to toss them into the set. You need a total of 18. So we already have 5 in the game. This Wednesday, I imagine we'll get 3. And then we'll be followed by a weekend of probably 2. So right there is 10. That means we'll be left with 8. I believe this should take any, around probably 4 weeks to 5 weeks to be done. But here's the thing. Don't dip out based on the time schedule you're here right now. You want to start this now because I'm not sure if things, if tokens will go away or how things, or if you have to do this weekly. But it might be a time sensitive thing. So you definitely want to get these done as early as possible. Also because you don't want, you don't want solo challenge buildup. Which is just that overwhelming fear of having like so many solo challenges on your plate that you never finish them. So here's the thing. When you complete this set, you're going to be able to get... Again, it could take a few weeks. It'll take you a lot of time. It's going to take the game time to actually drop the stuff. But you're going to get a random legend boss. Now, a random legend boss is essentially an, a limited time version of a legend. So you're going to be able to get a limited time player pretty much on this account. Now, let me go back over. And guys, there's so much more to this. Just stay, just, just listen. Hear me out here. So we're going to go over to solo. And just going to show you how to get it done because people might be confused on that aspect. So we're going to go over to play, challenges, and you're going to go over to legend solos. Of course, it's pretty self-explanatory. So when we're in here, as you guys do see, you get five tokens here. You get one per solo. So you want to get these done. You see right there, legend token right above there, right there. Legend token. Once you get that one, you're going to go do all of them. You're going to have five. Then you're going to do, there's legend release right here. These are for the power up. so disregard these. You want to focus on the token one. So there's going to be another one probably Wednesday and on Saturday, and then every week. So here's the thing. Right there, like I said, challenges expire on September 5th. So you guys have to start playing these now, because by the time the next ones come out, you're going to lose these. And once you lose these, I'm pretty sure you'll be super far behind, because that's five, that's a that's a big. That could be end up being two, three weeks worth of tokens. So that's why I'm making this video now, not when it does come out, because if I did then, it help at that point, now would it? So make sure you get these done, collect your tokens. Now here's where the magic happens and how you make a ton of coins. So on your first account, which is your main account, you're going to be able to do this at the end of the week. So you're gonna get one LTD legend. You can keep them, you can maybe sell them, I'm not sure how they're going to do that, or it could be Nat. But here's what you're going to want to do. I'm going to be going over in the event that it is auctionable, in the event that it is not auctionable, and how you're going to be able to pretty much go around this. So here's the thing. On your first count, you're going to get one. Here's So we're going to start with how you can make maximized coins. So guys, you're going to want to use your farm accounts. I know a lot of you guys have farm accounts. If you don't, go ahead and make a farm account. Super easy. Hit the middle Xbox button or PS4 button. Go to accounts. Go to create new. Takes you like five minutes to start an account. Sign to Madden. Start up your farm account. Play these solos. 
If you play these solos every week, okay, in my opinion, the maximum is five. You can have up to five accounts on Xbox. I'm pretty sure same thing with PS4. I recommend you get the maximum amount of accounts because, guys, you're going to be able to make so much coins and things off this. It's going to be unbelievable. So, last year, when I did this with Ultimate Legends, I was able to get five Ultimate Legends, which I was able to either trade some of them over and build myself a team, five Ultimate Legends, or you could always sell them and trade the coins over. Now, yes, there is the, there is the risk of coins and sending over and people, uh, EA mistaking it for coin buying and coin selling, which is why I'm going to go over after this the aspect of how you can do it with cards and our training. But here's the thing. There's some five accounts. And again, it's just once a week, hop on during Legend Saturday, play the solos, hop on the other account, play the solos, take no more than a few hours, get it done, and you're done for the week. You come back on a Saturday, you get it done, and then at some point, like in October, which is what I'm imagining in October, you can just have all these Legends ready to go, and you're going to have a ton of good players. Now, if they are auctionable, guys, in best case, they're auctionable, you're going to be able to either A, the coin way, you sell them all in all your accounts, and you go ahead, and you send all the coins over. Probably the riskiest way. If those cards go for at least three to four hundred k, which they could go for, let's say three to four hundred k, because after a bunch of people get them, you could easily make over a million coins doing this in five accounts. Now, let's say two, you want to do it safely, and they are auctionable. You put them on the trade block and you trade them to yourself. Or there's two ways here. Listen to this. You, if you want, if you like the cards you got, you trade them to yourself. You put them on your team. You make yourself a god squad. You power them up. Here's another method that's really good. So let's say you get a you get a boss legend. You quick you, you sell them on your account for three hundred k. You're scared to transfer the coins over. You don't want to get banned. You don't want to get anything. So you don't know what to do with this. So this is what you're gonna do. The best method to transfer players over, you come to a legend set. Let's say your account is 300k. So you know that Dan Marino goes for about 300k. So what you do is you go to Dan Marino's set, you buy all of his set pieces, 129, everything. So now your side account has no coins. All your coins are invested into set pieces. So now you trade all these set pieces over to your main account, one by one by one by one. Now you're gonna say, aren't those not though? What do I do with those set pieces? Now on your account, you take them and you toss them into your main account set. And when you do that, you're able to now, you will get a full legend Dan Marino. But wait, let's just say Dan Marino goes for the 100k. So now you sell him, you will lose a little bit of reduction, which you would have lost transferring coins anyways. But essentially, you're able to pretty much get your 300k over to the other account safely, non detected as a coin selling, and you still end up with the same amount of coins 300 to 270 after reduction. So remember that you buy all the set pieces, you trade them each one by one by one by one by one over to the other account, and then you just go ahead and you toss it into the set. And then you create a full legend Dan Marino that is now auctionable and you go about it just that way. So that's the safest way to do it. Now, guys, there's the event that they're not auctionable. EA screws us and they don't make them auctionable. Now you have five cards of five different accounts. This is what I recommend here. You quick sell them for their, their training value, which is gonna be half, but you can still make some decent coins out of this. So when you get your when you do it, you're gonna want to get the cards and quick sell them. Turn them to tap. Or if there's exchange sets or there's something out by then, toss them to an exchange set or do what you gotta do from that point. But if it is if it is that you go you come over with the training you get and you come over here guys by the time this comes out there will be a lot more training options right now there's not many let's just say in the event this was the only one I wouldn't recommend this one but let's say just mud heroes by then and they have that training set they usually have or training option which is you can get one full mud hero like 90 91 thousand training right let's say that boss legend quick sells at that rate you get him like a 93 overall whatever you get and he quick sells for like 8,000 training as a half or less 7,000. You can then take it in there, turn into a full mod hero, sell that for 150, 170. You're gonna lose like 100K, but you're still gonna be getting a value back. And then you could do the full set legend and transfer them over or transfer the coins directly. It still all works the same way there. So at that case, you'll make, let's say, 170 per account versus the 300 because you lost them on the, uh, the, mud, uh, the mud hero. Potentially, potentially. We don't know on the full training value yet. Or if you get a better one, you get more. Or if you get a worse one, you get less, right? If you get a high boss legend and you can quick sell them for like 12,000 training as a half, which is insane, you can then maybe get two or three mud heroes, which could go 500K. Do the set legend, lose some reduction. Either way, it looks like no matter what, even if they're only training options as a quick sell, you're gonna still be making about a million coins at bare minimum. Or if they are auctionable and tradable, you can either build a five five players in your lineup that are all boss legends, which would be really ridiculous to be quite honest with you guys. Or you end up with over a million coins. So if it comes out as if they're auctionable and tradable, that's gonna be the most coins you're gonna make or the best team you're gonna make. They end up being training, it's gonna be slightly less, it's gonna be a little bit of a hinder, but not bad. I think either way, this method appears to be foolproof. I did this last year with Ultimate Legends. I don't remember if I did it with Legends. I did it with the Legends last year because I wasn't really, I never really put thought into it. But now that I have, I recommend you guys get it done. Again, it's not going to take too long. Every Saturday, just hop on. Go play your solos. Doesn't take too long. And then once you're done, you just know that in October, it's going to be great. And the best thing about doing this is that by October is when the Halloween promo will be out. So that's when you're going to really want some coins. Right now, it's like, eh, September's going to be a little bit of content. Too, but we're going to have content, but it's not going to be like seasonal content. You know, like the big promos are Halloween, like most feared. Thanksgiving, Christmas, Team of the Year, 
those are the bangers nfl honors those are the ones you want coins for so it's going to be coincide co-aligned with either the move between most feared and the harvest promo which is thanksgiving promo so between that time you're going to be getting a ton of coins from this or potentially a really good team to compete with at that point it doesn't either way i think it's gonna be super beneficial but guys if you did enjoy this video and it helps you guys out and you guys are excited to try this make sure to smash the like button guys can we get 500 likes in this video if you guys show some crazy support in this video i'll go searching for some better stuff to post for you guys or i should say better i should say just as great stuff because this is a great method here make sure to comment down below let me know if you guys are gonna be doing this if you guys already do farm accounts i get tons of comments all the time about how to transfer things on farm accounts so this video kind of helps you with that as far as how to transfer things and i go ahead and do this stuff as well as give you guys another method to do it with and i know tons of you guys have farm accounts almost everyone has a farm account and if you haven't i recommend you make one again they say it's a, you know they say what they say what they say about it but it helps you guys out it gives you free coins why not take advantage of it also guys if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button turn on the bell boys we are almost at 5k notification members guys join the before 5k note again you better join it soon guys it's closing the gap pretty soon we have 500 spots left make sure to go down below next to the sub button Send the little bell icon up helps you guys get notified when i post new videos so if you guys like to watch my stuff make sure you turn it on it just makes it makes it so much easier for us to communicate and get videos out and again just sub, sub to the channel to get to 23k as quickly as possible i'm out see you guys later oh and if you guys do need coins currently before this ends up you know working out and getting to that time make sure you're on below and go to muttreserve.com use code pool check out 50 off if you send me a screenshot of you guys getting coins i will follow you back on twitter thank you guys for watching i'm out peace